carbon nanotubes. What is carbon nanotube? Carbon nanotubes are tube-shaped material with a diameter measuring on the nanometer scale. They are shaped arrangements of carbon atoms that have been rolled into tubes. So we can see carbon nanotube as rolling up a graphene sheet to form a tube. There are two types of carbon nanotubes. Single wall nanotubes, they have a single cylindrical wall, and most of them have a diameter of close to one nanometer. The other are multiple nanotubes. The diameters of them are typically in the range of 5 to 50 nanometers. Then let's talk about the pro properties of carbon nanotubes. First, kinetic. There is almost zero friction between two touching carbon nanotubes, which means a single nanotube is able to rotate against other nanotubes with low complexion. So with these properties, researchers produce the world's smallest rotational motors. And what's more, these properties have been used to create electrochemical capacitors. Electronic and thermal properties. Because of the symmetry and unique electronic structure of graphene, the nanotube has favorable electrical properties. When considering graphene's own structure and property, all nanotubes are expected to be very good thermal conductors. This table compares carbon nanotubes, electronic and thermal properties to other engineering materials. Chemical properties. Because of carbon bonds, carbon nanotubes are one of the strongest and the stiffest materials ever found. This table shows its extremely high Young's modulars. And this table compares carbon nanotubes' mechanical properties to other engineering materials. Optical. Because of carbon nanotubes outstanding optical properties, we can produce high performance energy cells. This new kind of energy cell can capture the energy in the environment surrounding us and transform it into electrical energy much more easily and effectively. Adsorptive. Because of carbon nanotube special pipeline structure and the space between carbon nanotubes, they have high absorption capacity and storage capacities. To take advantage of high absorption capacity, we can use them to remove lead. And about the storage capacity, we can develop and develop and manufacture carbon nanotubes that can be used as hydrogen storage media. Then, its application. First, dealing with water pollution. Compared with normal treatment methods, carbon nanotubes have been considered as very suitable material to remove organic and inorganic pollutants from aqueous solution because of their high Adsorption capacity. Desalinization. Normal methods are high level of energy consumption, and compared to normal methods, carbon nanotubes' kinetic and electrical properties comprise higher water flux, so lower energy consumption will come true. Finally, let's talk about the weaknesses of carbon nanotube research. First, toxicity. 
Some research find that when produced carbon additives, they will release toxic substance, and it will influence people's health. In addition, in addition to this, now carbon additives cannot be produced in a large scale because of high production cost. So that's all. Thank you.